Hey everyone, welcome to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we talk about a situation where on your iPhone you get the pop-up saying that this accessory is not supported. What can you do in this case? Well, uh, it's kind of an interesting thing because it depends on what you're connecting and there could be many different things that can go wrong. But in case you're connecting some kind of accessory and you get the pop-up saying that the accessory may not be supported, my first instinct and the first thing would be to try and test it really in real life. If it's some kind of charging cable or whatever it is to see if it really does work. Cause sometimes it may not just be certified. So you get the pop-up, but at the end it may work just fine so whatever you plan on doing with it just try it out try to plug in the cable try to connect the um storage or whatever it is try to see if it does work even despite that warning because if it does then you're okay right it, then this uh, the accessory is just not certified so yeah that could be like the first thing try it out regardless and then the second thing would be for example if you are connecting something let's say it's just like a um, I don't know, some kind of charging cable or whatever it is, try to take it out and reconnect it multiple different times. If it, if the accessory contains or is part of like multiple parts, for example, like this kind of storage is like, you know, it has cable on one side or on the other, try to disconnect it from here, from the phone as well, like play around with the cables. Of course, make sure that everything is just set up properly because yeah, just reconnect it once again and you see if anything changes. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Now, the next thing could be because as you know, iPhone is like, of course, a device and sometimes devices can go wrong or something can happen to them. So there is the possibility that minor software glitches may trigger the error. So if you restarted the iPhone or even hard reset it, this can make sure that the fix is there, that it actually fixes the problem. If not, you can always just go ahead and go to the software update and definitely update your phone to the latest version. This is a good a general practice no matter what happens to your device, even if your device appears to be completely fine. This is not a big, big deal. You should always just update to the latest version and keep your phone up to date. Now, if none of these steps actually work, then you should always just check out the port on your phone because, you know, there has to be some kind of connection and most iPhones are equipped with the lightning cable or lightning connector. So you should always just check out if something isn't stuck there, perhaps something which you cannot even see, some kind of dirt or debris, whatever it happens to be, just make sure to get it out of there. Just be gentle with it. You definitely don't want to mess around with it. Like you don't want to damage it in any sort of way. Just use some kind of something sharp and thin to get the dirt out of there, but just be gentle with it and do it at your own risk because it's not probably, I mean, of course, you're not going to damage your device, but I'm just saying it to you to not damage your devices. And of course, if you just clean the ports, reconnect your devices, and uh, if you get everything right, you probably don't have a device which is supported and you'll probably not be able to get it to work. In this case, Users are, of course, advised to make sure that they are using MFI certified charging cables and other accessories to make sure that all of these things are just compatible. So if you have original Apple cable, you're not going to get the pop-up. And it's always a good idea to use the original lightning cable for file transfer or whatever it is. Just use the original and you're going to be good. But just like all the time, if everything else fails, just contact and reach out to the Apple support. Ask them the question, let them check out the, the current situation in your phone because they are going to know better because they are going to see exactly your device. It's not just me guessing what could go wrong so they can see exactly what's the deal and you can always just get there, go to the Apple store, ask them about it and you'll probably get your solution. So that's about it. That's everything what I wanted to tell you about. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you hit the thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you in the future. Peace out.